Brisbane and Queensland are amongst the biggest targets for property investors in 2023, and for very good reasons. In many respects, when it comes to key factors that drive real estate markets forward, all roads lead to Queensland. Investors seeking the best place to put their money want to see a strong economy. They want to know that their population is growing, that big money has been spent on new infrastructure, and there's a growing focus on the region that they're targeting. They also want real estate that's affordable, where demand for tenants is strong and rents are growing, and in many cases, in the current climate, they want above average rental yields. So Queensland and its state capital tick all those boxes. Steady population growth, substantial infrastructure spending, and the prospect of the 2032 Olympics, the Brisbane property market is expected to outperform many of its capital city counterparts. After a COVID-led property buying spree in 2021 and into the early part of 2022, there was a downturn in Brisbane from early in 2022 until this decline started to lose momentum in the final quarter of the year. While there was a drop in sales activity overall in 2022, particularly at the top of the market, sales activity still remained above historic norms. Hot spotting analysis shows that the cheapest sector of the Brisbane market and the outer ring suburbs have still been performing quite well, and so too have well-priced apartments in the inner city suburbs. Now, some media sources have claimed that Brisbane prices have dropped at record rates in 2022, but data from reputable research sources strongly disagrees with that. Both Domain and PropTrack record only very minor decreases in property prices in Brisbane in 2022, less than 1% in fact. And meanwhile, SQM Research still has Brisbane values higher than a year ago. In January 2023, CoreLogic Research Director Tim Lawless told the ABC, we're still seeing Brisbane housing prices about 28% above where they were before the pandemic. And Lawless said, the thing to keep in mind is that most homeowners in Brisbane are still sitting on a substantial amount of equity. There are also signs in early 2023 that more buyers are returning to the market. PropTrack data shows Greater Brisbane's auction clearance rate in the last week of January was up 49% on the previous week, its highest level since interest rates started to rise in May 2022. And improved clearance rates continued in Brisbane in February. One of the appealing features for Brisbane is that it remains highly affordable compared to the southern capitals. <clears throat> With a median house price for Brisbane of 775000 it compares pretty well to Sydney's 1.2 million, Melbourne's 900000 and Canberra's 950000 And similarly, Brisbane's median unit price of 490000 is considerably lower than Sydney, Melbourne or Canberra. With borders open and overseas migrants and students returning, demand from renters and buyers of units has risen and vacancies have dropped markedly, both in the inner city areas and across Brisbane generally. The vacancy rate for Brisbane has been below 3% for the last three years. It rose briefly to 2.8 when the pandemic hit in April 2020, but it's been falling since and now it's around about 1%. Now, properties available for rent in the Brisbane market overall dropped significantly in the last two years. In fact, we've seen the number of listings of properties available for rent in Brisbane almost halve in the last two years. So now it's just 6,000 properties at the latest count across the entire greater Brisbane area. And the student accommodation market in particular is the tightest in the country. Domain's quarterly rent report published in December found that Brisbane had the second highest annual increase amongst the capital cities in rental prices after Perth, both for houses and apartments. And PropTrack Economic Research Director Cameron Kusher said rents will continue to rise in Brisbane in 2023. He said there's just not enough rental stock available. Landlords have had the scope to put up their rents quite significantly and there's no sign of that really changing in 2023. So Brisbane is boosted by an improving economy Increased spending on major new infrastructure and rising demand at a time of low supply against the background of high population growth. And thankfully, the state government's ridiculous plan to increase land tax has been scrapped because it was untenable and unworkable. So overall, Brisbane is shaping up as a leading market to be in in 2023 
and beyond.